Okay, I am doing a quick and easy lunch here. It doesn't look like much yet, but what I have here is some buffalo chicken breast from the deli, or you could use cracked peppered turkey breast. And then I have a choice of cheese here. These cheeses are from Aldi. They're smoked Gouda, white mild cheddar, or Havarti. So any of those would be good, whatever sounds appealing to you. And then you need some pickles for the side or on the sandwich. I have some gluten-free white bread from Aldi, the Live G-Free gluten-free white bread. I'm going to put that down open-faced. And you wanna make sure that you're preheating your broiler. And dun dun dun, what? Dill pickle chips. I thought you were a personal trainer and nutrition coach. Yep, mm -hmm, that's right. I'm going to have a little bit of chips on the side because it's all about moderation. If you want perfect and you want to like, be shredded, skip the chips, all right? But don't judge me for having a few chips. So it says 17 chips is 150 calories. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna have half of that because I wanna cut it down to just 75 calories, okay? So instead of 17 chips, I am only going to have about eight. Eight chips and then maybe like a little baby one, right? One of those ones that got crushed. So, and I'm going to use some barbecue sauce. This is a Kansas City favorite. Woo woo! Rufus Teague, touch of heat. Kinda hot, kinda not right? Don't make any jokes. That I feel like that's just begging for people to make jokes about me. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Anyway, so Rufus Teague, I love Touch of Heat, but they make ones that are not this hot. They have like a bunch of different options. But what I love about this barbecue sauce is that it starts with, hello, tomato puree. Tomato not high fructose corn syrup. And then it has sugar, some brown sugar, some molasses. So here's the allergens, fish in the form of anchovy. So if you have fish allergies, get a different kind. Um, soy, but not wheat. It doesn't have any wheat, so this is gluten-free. Um, celery and mustard. So watch those allergens, people. Watch the allergens. And um, let's see, it's about 14 grams of sugar. It's 60 calories for two tablespoons. So I'm not gonna use all that. I'm gonna use like one tablespoon, okay? All right, so let's get to the sandwich. Okay, I've got my bread down on a silicone mat on a baking sheet, and I'm gonna pop that under the broiler to toast my bread on both sides. So let's do that. So I've already got it preheated on broil. So I'm gonna make sure that broiler is nice and hot. Pop that in the oven. Make sure that you set a timer or that you watch it because you know what happens with a broiler. You turn your back to deal with some screaming kiddos and then your toast is burnt. So pop that in there. Set your timer. I'm gonna do, let's do one minute. Oh, I really need to get my nails done. Okay. So. So now I've measured out one tablespoon of my Rufus Tea Touch of Heat barbecue sauce. So I'm going to spread that on there now. Whoops, whoopsie daisy. So one tablespoon doesn't go very far, so we want to make sure we get all that goodness, all that goodness on our bread. Whoops. Okay, so now I have weighed out three ounces total of my lunch meat. So I have the buffalo chicken, about one and a half ounces, and then I also have the peppered turkey. So I'm trying an open face sandwich two different ways. I've got my Rufus Teague barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna throw the buffalo chicken on one side. That way I can tell you all which was the best. And then I've got my pepper turkey just kind of layer that up. And then I'm gonna add some cheese. 
Okay, I went with the smoked Gouda on the peppered turkey, and I've gone with, or I'm sorry, not the white cheddar. I've gone with the Havarti on the buffalo chicken. So I'm gonna pop that under the broiler to melt the cheese and to heat up the meat. I'm gonna make sure that I watch it because I don't wanna burn it. Now would you look at that? So now my cheese is nice and slightly browned, bubbly, ooey gooey, beautiful. So I'm gonna plate this up. I'm going to add some fresh chopped cilantro and some pickles and my chips and voila. All right, here we go. I've added some fresh cilantro. I counted out my nine chips. You know I made sure I got that little ninth baby chip in there. Mm -hmm. I've got my pickles, a little extra cilantro on the side. Tasty, tasty. Enjoy. Okay, and now let's eat. So this is, which one is this? <laughs> this is the buffalo chicken with the Havarti. Mmm. It's good. And now this is the Gouda with that pepper turkey. Pardon me. Mmm. All right. The smoked Gouda with the peppered turkey, that touch of heat barbecue sauce, the cilantro. I didn't think it would be, but this one's my favorite. Oh my goodness. Like, before I did this, I honestly thought, like, uh, I'm not, I'm not that big of a smoked Gouda fan when I'm just having like cheese and crackers, but I'm telling you, the pairing of that with the turkey and the barbecue sauce, like hello, turkey and barbecue sauce, just, they're good friends. You know what I'm saying? That it goes together like peas and carrots. Actually, way better than peas and carrots. And then the pickle and the cilantro, I mean, ugh. I wish you could taste it. You're gonna have to make it, right? And then, little baby chip. I mean, if you're seriously trying to lose weight and you're just like, I can't do the chips, man. I just can't do it. That's all right, skip the chips. Have some extra pickles. But I'm telling you, it's delicious. I would like to take this moment to just tell you about my book, Choices Coach, Weight Loss Menu Guide by Sarah Moser, available on Amazon. This book is the book for you. If you are trying to lose weight and you are tired of counting every calorie, this is the book for you. I've already done all the calorie counting for you. It took me years to write this book. And basically how it works is you use the table of contents to pick out your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and one to two snacks. And you use the table of contents to go to that that meal and just choose what you wanna eat that day. You just pick from the menu. I've already given you a tightened up menu with low calorie options. All you have to do is pick the meal and then measure and weigh your food. If you're eating out, I've already told you exactly what to get. All you have to do is just order from my limited menu that I've given you options from. Like you are going to eat your way to that weight loss goal. And I have options for eating out at all your favorite restaurants like Chipotle, McDonald's, Taco Bell even. I will tell you exactly what to eat. So all you have to do is just go buy the book. And I have great options for eating at home. Eating lunch at home, one of my favorites is turkey, turkey brie and fig jam panini with chips. See how it works, 415 calories. I've already done the math. I've already told you exactly what to have. Two ounces of deli turkey, one ounce of brie. All you have to do is weigh it on your food scale. And that's the other thing, is it's time to stop stepping 
on a scale and measuring our bodies. We have got to start measuring the food because that's what gets you to your goal. Nobody has lost a single pound just because they stepped on the scale. You've got to do the work. You've got to do the exercise and you've got to start watching what you eat. Lower your intake of calories, increase your exercise level. It's really that simple. All right, so now that I've convinced you, it's on Amazon. Again, it's Choices Coach Weight Loss Menu Guide by Sarah Moser. Get it today. Paperback is $14.99. Kindle version is only $9.99. For $10 for the Kindle version, you could actually be losing weight. There's no gimmicks here. Buy it today.